Uh, we are in the Main Sports Olympia, this is Paco de la Banda, and I'm going to share this interview with Mr. William Hartson. And uh, he is the responsible for the Creative Thinking uh, tournament that we are having now. Hello, Mr. Hartson. Hi. And uh, I, remind, I remember you from uh, several years ago about uh, chess. And you I must be terribly you. old. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started playing chess when I was 13, so maybe. <laughs> and then uh, I remind you like uh, a chess master and a strong chess master. So how, how could you come from chess to creative thinking? They're both types of thinking, I suppose. But um, I, I think the, the, the real thing is that I never really decided what I wanted to be when I grew up. Oh, really? And I, I think as an advantage, uh, an advantage of that has been that I've never grown up. <laughs> and so I've, I, I've just moved from uh, one thing that fascinated me to another. I, I get fascinated very easily. Okay. You know, my, my latest book is about sloths, okay, which is just okay. so beautiful. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, uh, I, I just see. I, I think I, I think I have an uh, obsessive uh, mentality, and I just latch on to things. Um, so you like to move from one thing to another thing, being absolutely seduced by the new thing. Yes, completely. Yeah. completely. Yes, uh, and it it lasts. You know, I'm still yeah, fascinated uh, by uh, chess and uh, just anything creative. Okay, right? and what about the the creative thinking trial <laughs> that uh, is or at this moment it is um, uh, being on the Main Sports Olympia. Yeah, at, yes. at, at this very moment, um, there's a room full of people wondering uh -huh. what would happen if half of us had three legs. Oh. And I've, uh, the, the creative thinking competition consists of four rounds, uh -huh. um, in each one of which I pose them with some uh, theme for thinking creatively around. Uh -huh. And this one, I just suddenly had the idea. <coughs> that um, a genetic mutation has occurred uh -huh. that produces three-legged people and that after some time um, there are almost as many three-legged people as two-legged, which will of course uh, demand um, a whole lot of new legislation. So I've asked them to um, explain what all this will consist of. Okay, so I think that the, most of the players, athletes, uh, thinkers, uh, are going to enjoy a lot uh, doing this. In fact, I have uh, did it. Uh, I have done it in the past. And you uh, won it, didn't well, you? Well, I won it. Fantastic! Uh, yeah, it was brilliant. Right, yeah. and yeah. And it was absolutely fun. It was a beautiful uh, try. And uh, how do you think that the the rest of the players will do now? They will be nervous, scared, enjoying. All of those oh. have, have usually come there. There are sometimes some people who are so set in their thinking ways that they mm. hardly produce any new ideas. You know, I, I once um, did a radio program about creativity uh -huh. and I interviewed a professor of child psychology uh -huh. who said that, um, that in his view, all of us are necessarily born creative. Uh -huh. And that yes. as, as babies, we, we lie there um, receiving sensory input from uh -huh. all of our senses uh -huh. and have to put together a picture of the world. Oh. And that, that this is essentially a creative yeah. uh, thingy, but putting together lots of different yeah. things to come up with an idea. Yeah. Um, uh, he said the trouble is that uh, education and experience of life drums the creativity yeah. out of us, yes. and that growing up is a restricting, restricting process, yes. and that too many, and that we acquire Apart lots of techniques that we, yeah. we can live on, and that too many people just become lazy in yeah. their thinking. And I think that you trust this also, I mean, that you are in line with this. Uh, absolutely, I think he trust. explained exactly what I, what I believe. Us, tell us uh, about a, a, a question in the past that it is, <coughs> I mean, interesting for the viewers, I mean, the, because of well, one or... There was, um, you know, the whole thing started as uh, um, a column that I wrote in the independent newspaper uh -huh. on creativity, a yes. reader competition each week, uh -huh. and which, which was suggested by American management creativity tests. Uh -huh. And the, one of the common forms of those tests was uh, unusual uses for commonplace objects. Uh -huh. And um, uh, uh, one of the very common objects that they used in those was a paper clip, asking people uh -huh. to come up with yes. uses for a paper clip. My favourite was branding iron for mice. Um, rather vicious. Uh, but um, the very first week that I 
tried to do this in the independent. The object I had was an odd sock, uh -huh. and the uh, the prize I, uh, I gave to what I considered by far the best answer, yeah. which was unravel the wool of the odd sock and use it to knit the missing one. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. Okay, but uh, one one of, sorry, you asked for one of the best in the yes, um, in, uh, this yeah, competition. in this competition. Um, one year, I. Uh, I gave all the contestants a torn off piece of music from a yeah. Haydn piano sonata. It doesn't matter what it was, it yeah. was a piece of music. Um, and said, told them that anthropologists had dug this up in a thousand years' time yeah. when all trace of 20th century human civilization has lost, is lost. Yeah. And they've suddenly found this, this thing. What do they make of it? Yeah. And I had one totally brilliant entry which said that it was um, clearly a guidance, pass uh, a guidance document for migratory um, passages for blackbird, for, for starlings taking off from telegraph wires. <laughs> and the, the bar lines were the telegraph poles. Yeah. The horizontal, the, the stave, yeah. was five lines of telegraph wires. Yeah. The notes that were filled in were male. The ones that were open were female. <laughs> Um, uh, absolute, uh, which way they pointed was which way they were going to take off. Yeah. Um, everything in the thing, from the key signature to sharps yeah. and flats, everything was explained in, in yeah, terms yeah. of styling behavior. Uh, I thought that was just completely brilliant. Yeah, absolutely amazing. How would you encourage people to come here to play for the Creative Thinking World Championship? Uh, first, they have to empty their minds and start coming up with ideas. Mm -hmm. and then realize what fun it is. Okay, yeah, it is absolutely fun. Bill, a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.